it was a support group in the beginning. There was a focus on the difficulties of adjusting without children and mm -hmm. some of the life changes, going through the changes of life of a woman at a certain age. And then you started focusing on doing things socially together, connecting with each exactly. other, and enjoy finding ways to enjoy life without children because there are a lot of things you could do when children aren't around. Right, mm -hmm. and also we found out, like, uh, with one of the ladies that is president of the group now, that at that time she, that she she met me, she had children in school, but they were in high school, so they didn't want her in school. So you know, it, it's a it's not exactly empty nest. It's a stage in life that you are going through, and maybe people did not have children, or people. Uh, they still have children at school, but that's the way you feel, and it's a stage where it's hard to start making friends all over. Right, so what you're saying is even as, as adolescents become older and individually become more independent, they're less in the home, so there can be a feeling of loss even at that time. So those people mm -hmm. kind of vacillated towards your group, and then also yes. you address the fact that maybe people who choose not to have children or haven't had children yet are still empty nesters as well. And so they, they are in the same situation. They're in the same situation. So they would also be appropriate for a group of empty nesters also. And exactly. they're seeking the same kind of camaraderie, the yes. same kind of support that maybe women who have had children and have gone on. The, the, the funny thing is that uh, we chose the name empty nesters for the group, but there were mixed feelings. Some people from some cultures, they thought that emptiness is a negative w a mm -hmm. thing because it's empty, you're you know, anxious. But other people, you know, like my Italian friend, she says, it's a warm place to be. So for me, it means I have a family. Now it's empty, I have them a little bit far away, but still it's something um, warm. Mm -hmm. And so some people like the name, some people don't like the name. And now they call themselves Next Step. Next Step. That's, yes. that's a good idea, Next Step. Because I've come but, across that also, that right. Empty Nesters does some, have a conversation. Hurt some people, negative. yes, don't like it. Right. But it all depends. Right. Well, what, what kind of advice can you give to other people out there that are going through this change in life, this rite of passage where the children are leaving the home or have chosen not to have children, they are expatriates that are moving abroad without children. What kind of... Um, advice would you offer them to help them move along forward in a positive way? Well, in the first place, the more anxious or the more depressed they are, they need to know that they need to get out and look for help. And help is just the neighbor, whoever they can talk to, and then start focusing in people that have their, you know, the same problems or the same interests and get out. That's one of the most important things. But you know, there are so many positive uh, things at this stage because your children are also older, so it's going to be uh, more uh, different to communicate with them. And you know, with the internet, the, what, what is basic for me is that you never lose your children. You have them in a different way, and the older they are, they will still need you. So you will have a married daughter with a baby, and she will call you more than ever. So there's still hope, you know, that the family, as much as you are connected, um, it will continue like that. Right, like your role changes from being a mother to also being a grandmother. Exactly. Right. And uh, expats, especially, you know, they are families mostly that they get um, together very much because they go through this experience of being an expat. So they move around the world and they have, as a unit, you know, uh, a, a lot of strength. The cohesiveness is exactly. very strong. And, and it's, it, it's not going to disappear mm -hmm. when you are far away. And then when they get older, you will start discovering that all what you went through together, your children as adults will use it as a tool to become successful. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Martha, for talking to us about empty nesters and starting a group. Uh, when you look at us on Facebook, please like us, and please go to our website at www.theexpatview.com. Thank you.